Good afternoon, everyone. We are Group Four. Today, we are going to present to you the article "Price Promotion for Emotional Impact." Now, let me introduce my team member, Esri, our core organizer, and Mohino, Naima, Nadan, myself, and Sarah, Jenna. Let's move to the abstract of this article. The author has given the price promotion definition. It is the discounted price that encourages consumers to buy products that they might not have been considered. In this article, the authors examine this possibility in a dual system theory of consumer behavior, and they argue that price promotion lowers a consumer's motivation to exert mental effort. In which case, purchase decisions are guided less by extensive information processing, and more by a quicker, easier, strong conditioning of preference. That's called effect. In this article, it is generally divided into four parts. The first session is the social psychology definition and some other marketing theories. The second part is a survey and an experiment, and it consists of six studies. The third one is reviewing the empirical findings, and the last section is dis discuss managerial implications. A dual system perspective on emotional impact explains leaps in self control in terms of a conflict. Between automatic and deliberative modes of behavioral control, numerous studies have now tested whether the brain areas that control behavior are organized in a manner consistent with dual system models. While price promotion merely are incentives that entice consumer to accept offer that they might not have considered otherwise. Yet the prospect of paying a lower price for a product is given. Quality can also discourage deliberation, in a sense, dumping down the purchase encounter by making it less consequential. The author examining this possibility in a dual system theory of consumer behavior specifically. The starting point of this research is based. On the social psychology, and in some area of marketing research, stated that consumer make decision by integrating two quantitative distinct type of thinking: first, automatic plus effort laden; second, control plus deliberate. Effective response make minimal demand on a working memory. They are effortless, and therefore prime by default whenever a behavioral opportunity present itself. Price promotion should increase the relative impact of effective responses on the purchase decision by shifting preference to a rich effect product. Deliberation responds load heavily on working memory; it consumes scarce processing resources, and therefore tend to play a secondary, more corrective role. That is activated sensibility factors. In the environment, that cue the motivation to exert mental effort. Example factor that stimulate processing motivation. Previous study has examined that the feeling evoked by, pro by price promotion determine whether the spike in incidental effect spill over onto subjective measure of product liking and purchase intention. The interest lies in the idea that price promotion discourages deliberation and therefore increases the impetus consumer pays on their integral effective response to the product. In testing the theory, two main arguments has been tested empirically in this study. The first argument is to determine whether price promotion is indeed affects the processing motivation. The literature recommended focusing on proxies such as response time and recall accuracy, which examined the hypothesis one, which states consumers facing a price promotion spend less time considering choice option and recall less product information than consumers facing a regular price. 
This hypothesis was tested in the field in study 1 and in the laboratory in study 3. The second argument relates price promotion to choice. The context demonstrates that relying on a fact during decision making increases the appeal of stimuli that are rich in effect. The rationale is to know the type of thinking consumers employ that influences the type of product they choose to buy. The effect rich products allow consumers to make spontaneous decision when purchasing goods based on their preference. Meanwhile, the effect poor products emerges through careful reasoning and based on consumers' choice on advantages and disadvantages that they convey. With this reasoning, the second hypothesis states consumers facing a price promotion are more likely to choose a product that is superior in effect to its alternative than consumers facing a regular price. In the third hypothesis, the literature recommended testing a causal sequence by cause controlling factors that are conceptually related to the mediator and approach called moderation process. The first factor determined whether the relationship between price promotion and product choice is sensitive to individual differences in the appeal of cognitive work. The second factor determined whether the same relationship is sensitive to a priming procedure and used in other marketing research to induce processing motivation. This process is simply asking people to apply reason and logic to a task. This hypothesis was tested in laboratory in studies 4 and 5. In the final hypothesis 4, the researcher tested the consumer's willingness to pay across different product quantities in the presence or absence of a price promotion, with the expectation that the valuation will be less sensitive to changes in magnitude, which is known as a scope neglect. Evidence from the field this section reports two studies of field data from the daily deal industry, such as Groupon Living Social, who aggregate products and services from different merchants and sell them as deals online for a limited time at substantially reduced prices. Daily deal companies advertise deals on their perspective websites and in daily emails to registered consumers. Consumer purchase deals in the forms of vouchers that can be redeemed at a later date with the corresponding merchants. There are several aspects of the industry that make it an appropriate field setting to test our theory. 1. Consumers are confronted with the price discounts rather than simple price changes. 2. Consumers are exposed to a large number of products that vary considerably in regular price, discount value, and effective content. 3. Deals are clearly salient to consumers, people who browse emails and visit websites because of the opportunity to save money. 4. Daily deal industry attracts large number of consumers. And finally and most importantly, we can accurately measure a consumer's real-life response to price promotion. These features imply that we can identify the effect of price promotion on response time, which is H1, and product choice, which is H2. Study 1. Time to click H1. The email click-through data span a period of 15 days and combine three separate sources of information. First, we obtained characteristics of all the deals advertised by the company in its emails to registered consumers in the main city where it operates. The deal characteristics include regular price, what the consumer would normally pay, selling price, what the consumer is asked to pay, and discount value in monetary terms. We also observe six of the seven main categories, such as activities, beauty and wellness, events, lesson classes, restaurant bars and services, and 24 of the 78 subcategories, such as spa massage, hair removal, bowling theater, that the company uses to classify its deals 
as well as the position of deals within emails, that is whether a particular deal was placed at the top of the email, at the bottom, or somewhere in between. Second, for the 20,505 consumers who clicked on any deal advertised in any email during the observation period, we obtained the timestamp of email opening, the timestamp of click, and the deal they clicked on. Therefore, 77.96% consumers clicked on a deal in one email. 22.04% consumers clicked on a deal in average of 2.50 emails. On average, it took consumers 101.69 seconds to click on a deal after opening an email. We find that 50% of the consumers clicked on a deal within 1 minute and 95% clicked within 222 seconds, which is 3.70 minutes, of opening the email. The maximum time we observe between email opening and click through is 59.83 minutes. Results of study 1, time to click, H1, consumers facing price promotion spend less time considering choice options than consumers facing regular price. Now, let's look at the evidence from the laboratory. Participants were asked to read the fact sheet of the Snicker bar and a Nature Valley granola bar. After a while, the fact sheets were taken away and a missing entries fact sheet were given including a 50% discount and participants were told to purchase. Participants were unable to recall the accuracy but they were diverted with the price promotion. Here it validates H1 which says that consumers facing a price promotion recall less product information than consumers facing a regular price. When there is a binary choice, consumers tend to go with the product superior in effect which validates H2. Study 4 looks at the individual differences in processing motivation. A week-long vacation in Bali. Two same price rooms with different attributes were offered. Participants with low NFC chose room B because they were appealed by hedonic sensations, although the distance was further and the size was smaller than room A. For participants with high NFC, the presence of the price promotion did not affect processing motivation. Therefore, it did not affect preferences. As for study 5, participants were told to pick 10 movies from a DVD rental service. Participants who did not receive processing instructions selected more lowbrow movies in the price promotion condition, which supports H2. And participants who were instructed to rely on reason and logic made similar movie selections across the two price conditions. This supports H3, which says that the effect of price promotion is mitigated when cognitive activity is induced. As for study 6, participants need to purchase Lean Lindor milk chocolate truffles. This study shows that participants were prepared to pay more in the maximum price condition than the minimum discount condition. This supports H4. What have we learned so far? The objective of the paper was to present a different interpretation of the way consumers respond to price promotion. At the time, it was the first research to present a theory of price promotion that treats effect as a separate and independent input in the purchase decision. We also learned about brand switching. Price promotion induced brand switching. Therefore, this paper highlights the importance of sustaining a relative advantage or overcoming a relative disadvantage on the more effective dimensions of product quality. Let's consider effect-rich products. These are higher quality, higher price brands. And these typically count with a higher proportion of loyal consumer who are less price sensitive. Price promotion would tend to attract business when it's deployed. 
Conversely, let's consider the effect poor products. These are lower quality, lower price brands, and the price promotion were not as successful compared to the effect rich product. As a suggestion for workaround, these products should be given best positions on shelves to overcome their disadvantage. Lastly, we can conclude that this paper provides marketeers guidance on how to better allocate their promotional budgets across their product portfolios.